So today we're going to be installing these new Holly VR1 uh, brushless fuel pumps into our radium surge tank. But I wanted to talk a little bit about kind of what goes on inside these fuel systems because there's a lot there's a lot that's going on to not only keep the these thousand horsepower engines fed, but also to control the fuel uh, in the tank. So the problem with a traditional fuel tank is as you draw the fuel level down, the fuel is able to move around inside the tank. In these drift cars, you know, we're swinging left, swinging right, accelerating, braking, the fuel is going to be able to move all over inside that tank. What Radium has done here as uh, incorporated a surge tank inside of the fuel tank, which is essentially just a smaller fuel tank inside of a larger one. But what they're able to do is pump fuel from the standard fuel cell into the surge tank, keeping that surge tank full at all times, which basically get rid of any chance that your high pressure fuel pumps will suck any air, meaning you won't lose fuel pressure and potentially cause damage to your engine. So what we're gonna do is pull this apart and uh, show you what goes on inside and we'll get these pumps installed. How this works is you have a lift pump, which is going to be in the tank. It's gonna be lifting fuel and keeping this surge tank completely full at all times. So that's gonna just free flow uh, fuel into this and then it'll just sit there and basically overflow uh, from this in, back into the tank and just circulate. And what that does is keep your pressure pumps, which will be inside the surge tank, these submerged at all times. Not only helps them stay cool, but also uh, eliminates any uh, chance of them ever sucking air. So uh, what we're actually working with here is a new Holly uh, VR1 brushless fuel pump. These are a two-speed pump. So it also does incorporate a controller mount outside of the fuel tank. This cell is actually made for these pumps. So on the top of the surge tank here, we have two different hookup points for both pumps. And then we have our traditional two studs for the lip pump, which is just a single speed pump. When you order these, you can configure it for whatever pump setup you're running. So you can, you can order these with the pumps already installed. Depending on the pump you have, the fuel cell surge tank is set up for the different kinds of pumps. We will pull the surge tank off and uh, get these two pumps installed. All right guys, I moved the camera so we could kind of see what's going on here. Um, so with these brushless uh, fuel pumps, they actually don't have an internal check valve. Um, you need a check valve basically in order to keep the pump from back feeding into the other pump and not building pressure for your engine. Uh, Radium has these really cool little check valves that you, uh, a lot of little parts here, but we'll uh, We'll assemble those and then we'll get to actually assembling the pumps and uh, putting them in the surge tank. So there's one uh, check valve installed, find my camera here. Also make sure you follow the instructions because if you don't put the wiring harness on before you put the check valve on, it doesn't fit anymore. So we'll go backtrack a little. All right, now we got both of them installed with the wire harness. Now we can go ahead and install them in the surge tank hat. Both the feed pumps will thread right into these two uh, and ORB holes. Now we can go ahead and throw the hanger on. This holds the pumps in place. Just slides over the bottom like that. Okay, now that we got the pumps installed, we're going to go ahead and wire them up. Radium supplies all the wire ends that you need and heat shrink, which is awesome. So we're going to go ahead and uh, trim up these wires and uh, get it bolted on. Wires terminated. Now we can go ahead and uh, they have them actually labeled already for the colors that we need. So we just line them up and uh, we'll put them on, bolt them on, and then we can put the lift pump in. All right, so we got the wires on there and fastened. Now we can go ahead and install the lift pump. So before we put it in, we're going to install the uh, hose that's gonna supply fuel to the surge tank. Pump will slide in, and that hose we're just going to kind of route through. 
can go ahead and plug it in. We'll go ahead and put the uh, filter socks on. And last thing here, we're just going to uh, take this excess hose here. This is just going to wrap around and we'll just zip tie it right back here. And then I'm just going to throw a zip tie on these wires as well here. All right, and there it is. So now you can kind of see the uh, inner workings of it a little bit. We've got the uh, two uh, high pressure pumps right here. And those get covered up. And then uh, we've got the lift pump here. That's just going to supply fuel through that clear hose into the surge tank here. And, uh, keep it full and keep our pumps happy. I'll go ahead and get it bolted back together. All right, so there you go. Now you know uh, what's going on in here, what the surge tank does, why it's needed. The thing is ready to go, ready to drop in the car. Um, and it should be capable of about 1,500 horsepower. So yeah, ready to go.